fam. So we are back again with another crazy video. Now this video right here has been going across the entire internet, bro. Okay, it's number one on trending and it's been 10 days. So I'm already knowing this song has to be something crazy. But your boy been off YouTube for a little minute because YouTube done banned your boy for two freaking weeks, y'all. They done canceled your boy for two weeks, but it's all good, bro. We back and we better. I won't be on YouTube as much. I will still be on the platform, but however, I want y'all to go over to my Rumble because, bro, it's gonna be lit over there, okay? I need y'all to go to my room where we have freedom of speech and I can say whatever I choose to say, you know what I'm saying? So go over to the Rumble account, man. It's in the link description box below. Without further ado, let's check out this Oliver Anthony Richmond north of Richmond. Let's get it. Well, I've been selling my soul Working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay So I can sit out here and waste my life away Drag back home and drown my troubles away It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to For people like me, people like you Wish I could just wake up and it not be true But it is, oh it is, living in the new With an old soul These rich men north the rich men Lord knows it all Just wanna have total control Wanna know what you think Wanna know what you do And they don't think you know But I know that you do Cause your dollar ain't shit And it's taxed to no end Cause the rich men Politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in what? I wish politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an oh island gosh. somewhere. That boy just said a bar. That man just said a bar. Lord, have mercy. That man just said a bar. Come on, man. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the old beast milking welfare. God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta go back on that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The fudge rounds, young men are putting themselves six feet, five foot three, and you're 300 pounds. Taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground. Cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. I'm trying to find the words to honestly say how I really feel about this song. But I think the best words I can honestly say, honestly, I'm not a huge, huge country fan. But the last two country songs that I done listened to, I promise you, bro, I'm starting to really feel country music. And it's not just the, it's not even just the music, bro. It's the lyrics that are in these songs. People who stand enough for this country, people who are tired of the bull crap that's going around this country. This ain't nothing but a song of a man explaining his feelings about how tired he is of, not even how tired he is, but how tired all of us are of what's really going on in this country. I'm only 20 years old and I can see straight through the bull crap that's going on in this country. Straight through it. Straight through it. Even when, even the beginning the beginning of the song was a bar. All this overtime hours that we're working, selling our soul, selling our soul, working all these overtime hours, and we getting bull crap pay. Barely getting paid for the amount of hours that we're working. We're working all these hours and we're barely getting paid for it. Six, seven days a week, some people are working. And they only send, what, a thousand a week? But half of that go towards car note, half of that go towards gas, half of that go towards food. And if you got kids, oh man, that's all of it. It I is I'm gonna say 
that is it's a good feeling. But it is good to know that the people who felt alone doing all this uh, inflation knows that they're not alone because it's men like him that make songs like this to let people know that you're not alone, that he's going through the same things that we're all going through. Not even that, it's not even just him. It's not to say that he's super big and famous and he's super rich, but the fact to know, the fact is that we all going through the same bull crap. Race don't matter. Yo, 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 the Democrat Party, Republican Party, none of that matters right now. We all facing some type of hell on a different level, on a different scale. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to be the same. I hope that makes sense. But, wow. We're not even done with the song. Let's finish. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. you know, but I know that you do, cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's taxed to no end, cause the rich men, know the rich men. Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Wow, bro. Yo, that song right there is straight soul touching, bro. It is straight soul touching. The simple fact is, I keep saying the fact, but it, it's not the but facts in the song. The point that I'm making is like, we all going through, we all going through something during this time. Okay, everything is sky rocket high. Cheese is three dollars. Mayo six dollars. Everything is high. Food, everything, everything's high. Gas, everything is super high. So we all going through something. We all going through something. And this song right here is a song that that we all can relate to. Regardless of, I feel like regardless of where you're at in the United States, you probably don't got to be in the United States. You might be in another country, but I'm pretty sure you could relate to this type, this song right here. I'm pretty sure we all can relate to it. We all going through something. We just tired of the government stealing from us. We just tired. We just all sick and tired of what's going on right now. All of us. I know me personally, I'm tired. I'm personally tired of seeing what's going on. Like I said, I'm only 20, but I see right through everything that's going on. I work just how we all just go to work Monday through Friday. I work the same hours, the same way. And I'm seeing that I work all these times, all this overtime pay, all everything. I do it all, but barely see a cent, barely see any of my money because of it all go towards bills. It all go towards. I barely have anything for myself, and I'm barely. I barely could pay the stuff that you know. what I'm saying it's just. It's a lot of stuff that we all go through behind closed doors. But the one thing I could tell y'all right now is that the reason why I am the way I am is because I keep God first in my life. I keep God first, point blank period. Regardless of how high this bill is, how high that bill is, I keep God right there in the center. That's the only reason why I'm moving or pushing through all the inflation, everything that's going on. Everything that's going on. I, I'm, I help when I can help. If I see a homeless person, I help when I can. But at the end of the day, I'm pushing through all of this because I'm going to continue to put God first. And when the moment you put God first, it's the moment that you will start to see a difference in your life. But a lot of y'all, y'all worship, y'all praise God, but y'all don't live it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just talking about the God that a lot of people want to serve. No, I'm talking about the one, the, mo the, the only God there is. His son, Jesus Christ. That's what I'm talking about. That is what, I, that is what I'm believing. That is why I push towards every single day. 
keep it known first in my life so that way that when I'm going through stuff like this, I won't have to struggle. I won't have to be stressed because I got them first. I guarantee and I, I really encourage everybody to push towards God. Continue to put him first. Continue to put him first through everything that you go through, no matter what it is. Just test, test him. Put, just test him. Put him first over everything, your finances, everything, and watch how you have abundance that come your way. I love y'all, man. Uh, this song right here really, 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 really touched the soul, bro. Really touched the soul, man. We all going through something. We all tired of the bull crap that's going on in America. We all tired of it. It's falling apart. You know what I'm saying? The rich men north of Richmond, they want to keep us divided. You know what I'm saying? But this song literally just united us in so many different ways, man. So many different ways. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this song. Shout out to Oliver Anthony. Uh, this song was powerful. Really powerful, bro. Really powerful message in the song, bro. I can hear the pain in his voice. I can hear how tired he is of it, of it all. It don't seem like this was just phony and just made for the clicks and the views. This was actually him speaking his heart. How a lot of us feel, but we just can't express it. I appreciate Oliver Anthony, man. Shout out to him, man. Without further ado, man, it's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. We back on the ground. We back on the grind. I love y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.